What would you do if I sang out of tune? Would you still trade those options with me? Checking in here live. We'll do it. We'll do it live Monday. What's today? Monday, March 6th, 2023. It's 11.01 a.m. on the Swatch Watch here at the Central Standard Time. And you know what we got to do? We got to take a look at that spy. How about some spy action? Head on over to the Yahoo Finance. Click on the charts. Go to the one-minute intervals with the candles. And this is what we see. So it shot up this morning. Opened at what? Just over 404 or no, close to 405. And then just has risen since then. And it's been fairly level since about what time? Let's check the time here now. The bottom there, that's Eastern Standard Time because I still don't know how to change that on my Yahoo here. So let's see. We are at about 406. 84 and it got all the way up to what 407.44. Let's get out of this real quick because it's chiming in my ear on the Discord. I'll tell you what that Discord is later. I just trying it out for the first time today. But if we look, if we look and see what's happening right now on the spy, we might make a couple of moves right here and right now so we're going green green red green bigger candle red green red we could see the colors bar you don't have to give us a minute by minute (laughs) well you know what it's doing at this very moment is going to determine which side of this trade i'm going to take first because i'm looking to, to do both sides sell some put credit spreads and sell some call credit spread. So right now it's basically going sideways at this very moment. We go back to here, we can see the last candle was green. So if we looked at the call side of the credit spreads, what would we be looking at in the nine, you know, eight and under on the eight and under. Do you have the guts to do that? 14 Delta, that's crazy. It is crazy, but do we really think it's going to 409 today? She's real fine, my 409, my 409. If you know that song, well, you're probably old like me. Please stay tuned. As we try to eliminate the sound coming from the computer. So we have fairly flat for how long? The last 40 minutes or so. I'll figure this technology out one of these days with regard to how to record these. You know, I have to use very interesting methods in order to get these YouTube or get these videos to YouTube because my internet is so slow out here in the farm fields. I'm literally on satellite internet and it's not the Starlink from Elon. You know, we're waiting for Elon to call me. Hello, Bart, your satellite is ready. But it's been, I've been on the waiting list for over a year. So if we look, okay, we just went red down, red down. So let's flip to the put side just for a moment. Go down to check out this six delta. If we sell that, we'd get a six cent credit. If we buy, if we buy down, whew, that'd be a that'd be a huge spread. If we buy down here at four hundred, we'd have a three cent credit. Let's check, maybe check, maybe one two. So if we did ten contracts. Tried to get that filled at four cents, we would collect forty dollars on a three thousand dollar collateral, right? So if we do the math on a three thousand dollar collateral, if we take the forty dollars and we divide it by three thousand dollar collateral, now remember this is zero days to expiration. This will expire in four hours, in under four hours. 
So if we look at that number, we'd be at 1.3% profit as far as a return on collateral in this trade. But currently, none of those 10 contracts have been filled. So let's take a look back over here. Take a look at me now. They could fill though at any second because we've had three red candles in a row, meaning it's starting to trend down. So we'll leave that on the table for a moment. And then we will take a look at the call side just to see what kind of action we get in the same delta delta range. So this is an 05 delta. It's only a four cent credit. So do you have the guts to go for the gusto? Because you see the difference in the credit there between the 409 and the 410 strike price. It's a huge difference. So this delta is 13. I mean, still the probability of profit is still very high. But the difference in this premium is huge. So if we did this and then let's click on the buy side. It just went too wide, so it'd be $200 collateral per contract, right? And if we did five contracts, and let's change that to 0 0.10 and see if we can't just get it filled right here and right now, then we will, we got four out of five, there's five out of five, ladies and gentlemen. Now, if we look at this number, we've got $1,000 collateral on $50 in our pocket, right? So if we have $50 in our pocket and we divide that by the thousand bucks, that's collateral, that's a 5% return today. But there's also, you know, the danger that this trade moves against us and we have to do something. We have to do something. We have to close it out. We have to roll it. We have to work each side of it. Cause you know, we got two sides of this credit spread. You have your short side at the 409 and then you have your long side at the 411. So if this starts to work against us, meaning the SPY starts trading higher and higher and trends up over 407, starts to get over 408, then our short side is going to it's going to go in the red really quick and really hard where the long side then actually becomes more valuable where we can sell it back at a credit, but we'll be selling or we'll be buying this side back, the short side of the trade at a big debit. So we got to keep an eye on those. Um, let's take a look to see if, see what we're doing here, going real sideways. So let's see if any of those 10 put contracts got filled. They have, one of them has been filled. <laughs> One. So we'll leave, we're going to leave that on the table though for now. And then we'll just keep checking back. Check the old spy, check the spy spider right there. Cause it's been, again, it's at the, it was like 407, 44, the high today. And then over the last couple of hours, the low has been what? Down here looks like the low at about 406, 44. So a pretty tight window, but you know, this thing can go either way at any time. So we got to keep an eye on it because it is zero days to expiration. If it continues to go sideways, then we're going to be in real good shape, especially if we get more of these put contracts filled. We could be in the profit. We could be in the profit today on those because I need to update my spreadsheet because this morning I had to clean up uh, two dirty dog positions I had on the SPY. And I took some major gas on those. So we got to run the number on all the trades on this 30 trade, zero days to expiration challenge. It actually isn't that though, is it, Bart? No, it isn't. I was like breaking my own rules last week. I got overconfident with my investment thesis, which was working great all week until the end of the week. But by the time it started to work against me and, you know, spy turned on me let's go back a week here and you see you know it was doing just fine all of these days so this would have been monday right and then all week it was doing great because we were we were on the call side and this thing was going sideways to down 
And then at the end of the week, it started to work against me. Well, I was already overconfident in trades and I had trades out for, you know, out last week to today and tomorrow as far as expirations. So when it opened today, I am I was sitting on the row machine at the YMCA. <laughs> it's the YMCA sitting on the row machine after me and Lady Fitness. We, you know, we did some sets of uh, lap pull downs and seated rows, some bicep curls, and then we walked. Uh, I probably walked half a mile with her on the indoor track and then i'm like i gotta get to the rowing set down on the rowing machine just as the market was opening and immediate close immediately closed both of those positions out on the spy and took a, a beating on both of them so i'm gonna have to update the old spreadsheet for you go over those trades and see how we are doing on the 30 trade challenge so right now we've got the 409 slash 411 on the call credit spread. And as it shows right now, it shows that it's down 30%. Okay. And it's showing that it's down is because the market is going up on us. Okay. So it's currently at 47 or 407 flat. And we got to keep an eye on it. So it doesn't get close to that 409. And as you know, in a zero day to expiration trade, the theta, meaning the time decay is very high and it either works really good for you or really bad against you so we got all that going for us and we still only have one of these 10 contracts filled on the put side and they won't fill unless this starts to trend red again which it will it's going to trend red again and it already is two candles in a row it's just how low can you go can you go down low how low will it go before those are filled because you know every minute that goes by the theta be, is working against having that trade filled if that makes sense because we're already at 11 13 a.m and in the central standard time the market closes at three so we are under four hours until these contracts expire so we have these four on the board currently showing uh, down 30 percent minus $15 on that. So that will start to turn into the plus and into the profit if it continues to go sideways as the time decays on that. Hey, we were up 12 grand last week. Not so bad, huh? Well, the market did a lot of that. I lucked out, really. So that's what we have right now. I'll be checking back because I'm looking at this right here. And right now I'm looking at American Tower Corporation Okay, American Tower Corporation, they've got a nice little dividend. They've been down lately. I don't know why I'm attracted to these, these companies that are on the downtrend because I think they're undervalued. So we'll come back, review American Tower Corporation. It's a REIT that basically deals with cell towers. Hey, those aren't going away anytime soon. Nope, not anytime soon. So we'll see what we feel like doing on American Tower, if anything. Uh, but as for now, I've babbled on, haven't I? So subscribe, like, comment. Thanks for tuning in on this Monday, Monday, Monday here for some spy trades. I'll see you in the next video.